beautiful people, welcome back. I hope everyone is having a beautiful day today and I hope that you are all very excited. Okay, sit back, grab a cup of coffee because today's video, oh, today's video is gonna be a good time because we are gonna be sitting down and going through all of my recommendations for the Sephora VIB sale, their holiday sale that is coming up. Um, I actually think as of when you guys are watching this, it will have just started or just be starting and I am so excited. Like th this video is one that was so highly requested from you guys and it's just, I don't know, it's, it's so exciting to me because I love sitting down. I love giving recommendations and especially go, I have, I have such a huge box of stuff right next to me. Dear God, like when I say grab a drink, grab a drink. Okay. You won't regret it. Maybe a drink and a snack. Okay. You will need both because videos like this, they just really, they bring out like that inner reviewer in me. Like the person that just wants to tell you everything about every single product ever to exist ever. I don't know. It just makes me some kind of happy. It makes me very fulfilled and uh, I'm just, I'm very excited. But before we get going into the video, you guys know, I like to pause at the start, just to introduce myself really quickly. Um, just, you know, for anybody that might be new here, my name is Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. Welcome to the channel. Um, if you're new, I do put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, right around 7, 7.30-ish a.m. That is a.m. Um, my time here in good old Northern Michigan. So we have bright early morning uploads. And of course, maybe if, you, if you're new here, maybe you haven't heard, but I am trying to hit 10,000 followers over on Instagram. So if you would like to go down in the description box and, uh, you know, take a look, see if maybe you want to follow me, help me hit that goal, I would greatly appreciate it. And uh, I always say for anybody that wants to follow me over there, really what you're getting is page behind the scenes. You're getting um, the, the me that's not in front of the camera and the lights all the time. It's my real day-to-day -day life. I hang out in the office. We unbox PR um, or we, we just unbox things that I buy in general. We, we talk about stuff, funny stories. And then in the feed, I love to do all kinds of stuff. I've really been upping my game. We have um, unboxings. <laughs> just the other day, I actually uploaded um, a 12-minute um, Bath and Body Works unboxing, which was quite hilarious. It was a good little fun watch. And I've really just been trying to incorporate new content over there. So you have that. You have makeup reels, makeup IGTVs, mini makeup reviews, uh, makeup inspo photos, and even now dabbling into like photography, a little bit of plus size fashion. Yeah, if, that, if that's something you're interested in, you like me, you like my personality, I highly recommend checking out my Instagram. Again, everything will be linked down below. Now, obviously we gotta pull up these sleeves, girl. We gotta get going into the video. We have a lot to get to, but uh, before we get into the products, I just wanna stop really quick and give a huge shout out. Um, it's not like a, like a sponsored video or anything, but I just wanted to say a thank you to Magic Links. Um, they did offer me um, a gift card for this, uh, you know, just, just for making the video, which I thought was really cool. And it's really just a way to help offset the cost of what I'm gonna be buying. Like I said, this isn't sponsored content, so it's nothing to where, you know, these are still my own thoughts. This is, you guys will see, this is definitely my list of stuff that I love. But uh, I wanted to tell you guys for a couple of reasons. Number one, I, I prefer to be upfront and honest with you always. That is like my number one thing. Um, I, I don't ever want there to be any feeling of like, oh, well, I wonder if this, that, the other. No, I want you guys to know upfront um, what is going on, why it's happening, and like if, if there is something happening behind the scenes like that, anything that involves especially money, um, I feel like it's kind of my, my job to disclose that to you. So for me, I'm considering this more like how I would receive PR. Like they didn't give me, um, you know, like a, a tangible product, but I think it's along the same lines. And if I'm reviewing a product or I talk about a product, I always like to, you know, tell you guys, hey, I got this in PR or hey, I bought this myself. And I just feel like it's in good taste. It keeps everything clean if you guys know kind of what's going on in that respect. Um, so that's the first reason. Obviously, I just want to be honest with you, number one. And then the second reason I wanted to talk about this, um, it, it's something that I have mentioned. I'm only going to say it briefly, but I just wanted to say thank you to you guys because without you shopping through my links, um, this never would have come my way. Like they, they never would have reached out. They never would have offered this to me. But because you guys do shop through my links and you've been, I've, I've noticed a huge increase in it. Like you guys have been really um, trying to help me because I like, I'm the type of person I don't ever really, I, I've never really felt like I deserved. And I know that's a weird word, but I've never felt like I deserved money from this. And anybody that knows me, like any of my friends on here, I've talked to them about it. Like I just, I never felt like that was something that was in the cards for me, like making money and, 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 and even, even covering my cost to do this. I just, I always felt like, oh, like it is what it is. Um, and if it wasn't for you guys telling me over and over, like Paige, please link your stuff. You know, we want to support you. We want to do this. Um, without you guys pushing that and then using those links and being supportive in that way, um, this never would have come, you know, this, I never would have had this given to me. And just for me, I can't tell you, you know, what it, what it says to me and like how far I've come. And I, and I just put up a video talking, it was my assumptions video. I'll link it up here. And I talked to you guys about what Seeking Alexandria means and why it means it. And, you know, my, my entire reason for getting this channel started. And when I go through stuff like this and something so, something like this comes towards me where somebody wants to offer me a gift card, like it's so it's so overwhelming because I keep going back to that that young girl that like, was she worth it? You know, was, was she good enough for X, Y, and Z? And stuff like this happens and it's all because you guys support me. Like my channel is the size it is because of you, my growth, 
the the money the opportunities like this it's all because I have you guys I know that some people whether you're talking about links or shopping or money or whatever some people the, this conversation they just don't like it they think it's bad in bad taste and I totally understand that but I think for me it's really important that I come on here and that I tell you guys um, I wouldn't have this without you and I wouldn't be getting an opportunity like this without you and you know it's not even the fact that it's a gift card it's not like it's a lot it's just it's the fact that I was offered it it's the fact that they see value in me and that means that that you guys are supporting me and it's just for, for me it's just this whole kind of <laughs> conflated thing where I know that I wouldn't be anything without you guys and so I just want to say thank you thank you for everything thank you for choosing to shop through my links um, obviously all, that being said all of this will be linked down below and as soon as the sale launches I'll also have links on my socials if you want to shop through my links you want to do it um, I do get a commission on it that's kind of the deal with how all of this works if you don't know um, on based on various websites for Sephora for Alta whatever there are various like small percentages obviously it doesn't change the cost of your order but it does create um, small residual commission for you know the link that you use which obviously in this case I'm talking about mine and it's just that small little bit it adds up and it really does help me to do this and to be here and I just I don't know I wanted you guys to know I appreciate it and I'll have it all linked and I'll have it I'll have everything linked anyways with all of that said all of the thanks being given um, I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna I'm just gonna shut up and I'm gonna get into the actual video the reason we are all here and let's get into it oh my hands they they are in full display tonight my friend oh yeah they are so excited you guys I'm one of those people if you haven't noticed um, if you were to tie my hands behind my back I couldn't talk because they just I like I need them for all the things and they are so excited to get into today's video okay so let's let's do it all right now going into this uh, let's go ahead and start off first with a little skincare slash hair care because I only have a couple of things to mention and the first thing that I am I'm clutching on to oh so greatly here this is actually the Tatcha essence now I have this here to remind me of a couple of things number one Tatcha as a brand overall fan freaking tastic I have so many favorites from them that I love um, and this is one of them now this is very expensive it retails for I think $95 and as a very 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 expensive essence um, I I can personally speak to the fact that every time I use this, I do see such a difference with the overall, um, like, I want to say softening, the plumping, the hydration of my skin. I just feel like their products in general, but specifically this one, it does a beautiful job at really penetrating the layers of the dermis and getting into, um, getting deep down into my skin and really giving me long lasting benefits. And also just if you're someone who like you have, you know, skincare you're used to using, um, and you know, maybe it's time to repurchase it. I love using sales like this for the that as well because it's just a good time to you know repurchase or restock your cabinet get set for another couple of months however long and uh, you can do it with a discount instead of having to pay full price so really I guess this bottle was just serving all kinds of purposes okay we have essence we love tatcha we love restock we love we love it all okay so moving on next love this so much um I love tatcha all right now moving on to a few items um that I want to touch on that I don't have with me they're sitting in my bathroom um but my foot it's a little bit swollen and I don't want to get up and go get it so I'm, I'm just gonna sit here talk about them and the first thing I I wanted to mention is actually from First Aid Beauty. This is their um, Pharma White Clay Acne Treatment Pads with 2% salicylic acid, and these are absolutely fantastic. I've been using them now for, well, actually, I think I got these um, originally from Octoly. They sent me them for review, and these work beautifully. If you have sensitive skin, you want something that's going to go in there, help really clean your skin, and help um, help take care of like active acne stuff that you have going on, these are really good, but they do it without stripping the skin, so I want to mention that and then also I mean I've talked about this everywhere I've talked about it on Instagram I've talked about it on here in my favorites video two months ago um, I want to talk to you about wishful skin because this is from Huda Beauty and uh, <laughs> oh my god I am currently obsessed um, I love the uh, the wishful honey balm that stuff is so good it's their honey balm niacinamide moisturizer and I love that I've been using it day in day out I am almost gone with my first one I bought a second one and this product for me it is so good it's a nice thick moisturizer but it does work for all skin types so as somebody with combo leaning oily skin um, this doesn't affect me like it doesn't make me more oily it doesn't make my makeup you know weird it doesn't make it stick funny it just overall it looks so beautiful melts into the skin it gives you a really beautiful hydrated like luminous look on the surface of your skin too which I love but again it does it without like there being you know a ton of oil or like making that greasy film thing happen so this is a huge win for me all right now along those same lines we also have to talk from wishful about their get even rose face oil and this I've been using for two or three weeks I am absolutely loving it um, the, the way that it sinks into the skin it doesn't leave that same like I was talking about before that weird like filmy oily blech, on the surface does not do that um, it just presses in gives me great deep hydration and at the same time is really helping to even out all of my um, redness like my old acne scarring stuff like that um, I, I've already 
already noticed a huge difference. My face really, really likes this stuff. And then another thing that I've mentioned multiple times is the Wishful Yo Glow Facial Enzyme Scrub. And this is amazing, you guys. I love this so much. Um, it's a really good, like, gentle, but also highly effective pore refining exfoliant um, little, like, a scrubby thing you can use. It's a very technical term. Um, but I'm really, I've, I've just been really loving this. I've, I've already went through, I think I'm almost at the end of my first bottle. I purchased another. And I think that this is one of those products for me that I, I can't imagine not having it because when I use it, I see such a difference. I see, um, like, the, the overall texture and the feel of my skin has improved a ton. And then also from Wishful, I know what you're thinking, Paige, how much do you love Huda? And I promise you, guys, I, I am just as critical on skincare as the next, but this woman, okay, I swear, her and I must have the same damn skin because I am loving all of these. This is her Clean Genie, and this is, uh, it's a makeup removing cleansing balm, and I have used this so much. I've went through like one and a quarter tubs of it. It's it's so good, very effective, and uh, it's actually, fun fact, the these are all a part of the Clean at Sephora line too, so if, you know, you try to shop there, if you try to stick with the clean ingredients, um, all of these are on that list. They're all uh, for that, including the uh, the first aid beauty pads that I mentioned as well. Anyways, with Wishful, you know, I wanted to mention all of those things. And then I also wanted to mention, you know, if you're wanting to dabble in it, you don't want to commit to a full size. They do have on the, uh, of course, the Sephora website, they do have a couple of kits. They have the Wishful Bright set, and that is going to retail or does retail for $49. It's a $66 value. And you kind of get, you know, like a little bit of each of, each of the uh, items here. You have the Wishful, the um, Get Even Rose Oil, and the Honey balm. So again, for a much cheaper price, you know, you can kind of experiment, see if you like it before you commit to the full size. And then even if you want a cheaper alternative than that, I found the Wishful Glow Set and that has um, one of the, the scrubs, the enzyme scrub, and a little one of the uh, the honey balm. So for $18, nor it says it's a $23 value, but for $18, you can test them out, see if you like them, um, you know, the way they apply, the way they feel. Uh, again, but just before you have to commit to the full size. Also, while we're here, like I said, I do, I do have something I want to mention in the hair department. Department. And this is one, okay, I have never, I, well, is that true? No, I have talked about it on here, but it was a long time ago. Um, we are going to talk about the most, and I mean the most expensive hair item I have ever purchased, and that would be the Dyson Air Wrap Styler. Now this, <laughs> it is not cheap, okay? It is, it's so expensive. Obviously, you can see I've got I've got the info over here, um, but I purchased this set for myself back probably a year ago, and this set, if you are in the market for a new hair tool, if you are into hair, you know, like you're, you're looking for that item that's really going to just like, I feel like it just changes some shit, okay? This is that product for me because it works so beautifully on my hair. The thing about this that I just love so much is the fact that as somebody with, you know, really, I want to say thin, fine hair because I really, I, it looks like I have a lot of hair, but, but trust me, I don't. And this product, it always makes my hair look so thick and so full and just so, um, so effortlessly voluminous. And it's the kind of volume that I feel like no matter how many times I use a curler or a straight iron or a blow dryer or whatever, I have never been able to achieve this much volume and this much oomph to my hair, like th this much life. Not only does it do all of these good things I talked about, you know, the volume, the this and the that, but it also does it without me ever feeling additional damage to my hair. Like it's, it's one of those products I can turn to if I want it to be, you know, gentle, which obviously I want that every day. And this is that product for me. Like it doesn't cause me to have um, like the split ends, the dry hair, the, the any of those kinds of things, because their technology, like the way that Dyson has created this product. It's just, for me, it has been such a home run. I feel like my hair is healthier. Um, my hair is definitely more voluminous. It's more beautiful. It's more lifted. And, you know, like I said, I know it's a big pricey thing. That's why, you know, I, I've never really talked about it because obviously it's it's definitely a situation in terms of money. But I still wanted to put it out there just if you're on the fence, if, if you're wanting to shop it. Oh my God, I, I absolutely love it. Um, it's worked really well for me. Game freaking changer. So highly recommend that. And then from there, let's go ahead and start actually getting into some makeup, shall we? Because I feel, feel like we got, oh girl, we got a lot we gotta get to. And I got this big bucket. Hold on, let me, let me, let me grab the bucket. By the way, you guys, when I say I got stuff, girl, I got some stuff and we are going to talk about it. And uh, the, by the way, going into this part, I am going to be a little bit more rapid fire for multiple reasons. Number one, time. Okay, time. Ain't nobody got time to sit here and listen to me drone on about every product. So number one there. And then number two, a lot of these I've talked about, I've talked about recently. And uh, that, that's kind of been where I was going, you know, going 
going into this video, I wanted to give you guys more recent recommendations because I feel like, you know, as time passes with various products, various brands, a lot of times you can pick up older stuff on sale or you can get it at a discount, but the newer stuff is stuff that it's a little bit harder to find that discount on. So, you know, I'm just, just putting that out there. A lot of these are newer recommendations. Anyways, let's go ahead and get going into this. And first stop, first thing I want to say, by the way, is that just because I have combo leaning oily or oily skin, um, that does not mean in any way, shape or form that there is not something in here for you because, oh girl, I got you covered. Um, I made recommendations for every type of skin, every, everything. I have powders, I have creams, I have um, hydrating skin, I have mattified skin. I just I have it all, so I got you. And we are gonna start off, ooh, girl, with three of my all-time favorites. This is obviously the one I use every day, the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. I freaking love this. I also have the regular Tatcha. This is the uh, the regular Silk Canvas, rather. And uh, both of these are amazing. I've been using this one every day. It does seem to be a little bit more hydrating, I would say, than the regular um, Silk Canvas in the jar here. Um, but at the same time, I think I do get maybe a little bit better of a pore fill out of this one. So you can kind of pick and choose, but either way for me. I love both. Then the same thing is true for the third one I'm recommending, which if you have dry skin, oh my word, you will absolutely love this. This is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich Face Base. And I know that a lot of people have talked about this in the past, which Oh my God, this smells so good. Um, but this is one of those products that I did use, you know, again, as somebody that has combo leaning oily skin, I was actually taking this, I went through a dry spot with like the outskirts of my face and I was taking this as almost like a skincare step before my um, uh, makeup, like applying it a while before I was doing my foundation. And I would take some of that and just press it into the outer perimeter. And I feel like it is so deeply um, enriching for my skin. It sets really beautiful. And so if you are someone that has dry skin, highly recommend that stuff. I love it so much. And I actually think too, they, they make, I know the, the big one here is like $62, but I think they actually make a mini that's like 20 bucks. So if you don't want to commit to the full, which by the way, it's the same thing with uh, this one right here, the silk canvas, they have a mini of this, a mini of this. And so, you know, not only do they last you a while, but you also can get a mini, you know, if you're trying to save some money, maybe spread it around, shop a little bit more of the sale. There's always that option. All right, now going into foundation, I'm not going to stay here for a long time because I did just put up, I think on Wednesday, a full video about foundation. So if you saw or if you missed it, I'll link it up here. But uh, for today, I'm going to go and give you my top two recommendations from that video as well, because these are both just so freaking good. I feel like they are on the mark for right now. So just getting into them really briefly here. If you have oily skin, if you want that mattified look, if you want the smooth pores, if you want something that's going to last all day, honey, we have got you covered. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation. Absolutely beautiful. Love it so much. Then also, if you're someone looking for that naturally radiant, beautiful medium coverage, every Every single day foundation, easy to throw on, easy to blend, super easy to work with. You are looking for this one right here. This is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better. And oh, honey, is she beautiful. I love them both. Um, but if you're looking for that everyday foundation, woo girl, right here, so beautiful. Going into concealer, I actually, I have a couple of different options. And uh, I, I kind of picked these out based on ones that I use for different purposes. And so I'm gonna start off actually with the one that I couldn't find because I don't know, I, do, I don't know where it went. But the Hourglass Concealer, it's their newer one that that launched the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. <gasps> you guys, it is such a beautiful concealer. I love it so much. I've went through, I wanna say one or two tubes of it now. And the thing about that concealer is the way that it blends out under the eyes, it gives you beautiful, beautiful coverage. And I feel like with that one specifically, it's almost more of like a, like a satin kind of coverage. So it sits very satin, like finish on the skin, but then as it wears, it becomes more of like a, like a skin-like finish at the same time. And also the, the couple that I have in my hands, you know, you guys know me, I'm a little excessive. Um, first thing I want to mention, this is the Clinique Even Better All Over Concealer and Eraser. And this is actually one I have been loving a lot lately. I did a full video on it like two months ago. I can link it up there. And the thing about this one is the texture, the blend, all of that. It, it's just so effortless and it really builds on itself. Like you can use this if you want more of like a day to day concealer, if you want to build it up for a fuller coverage. Either way, this one will do it. And then also, also, I have these two other concealers. Now, these ones I've talked about a fair amount as well well, especially this one. This is the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer, which again, in full disclosure, I did receive, which yeah, this is 2.5. So I did receive this one in PR from Benefit, but I have purchased it on my own. I've talked about it a ton and I really, really like this concealer. It has a very thin um, like consistency to it. Just very, the, the viscosity of it is very thin. And so it settles into your skin beautifully. And because of that, you can use it um, both under the eyes, like as a concealer, you can build up that coverage and it looks beautiful. But because it's so thin and lightweight, you 
can also use it as a blemish, you know, like blemish coverings, redness, stuff like that as kind of a, a pre-foundation option. And it works really beautiful. It settles into the skin just as a final option because I love it so much. This is the YSL All Hours Concealer. And oh, you guys, this is, I think hands down, this has to be my favorite all-time spot concealer. Like, I don't use this under the eyes. I don't use it anywhere else, girl. I just use this to cover up all the little acne, all the little red spots. And it is fan freaking tastic It has such a beautiful light feel to it. The consistency is amazing. And it works so good over those, you know, especially like raised acne, it works great for because it doesn't like go in and settle into the acne and make it more noticeable. It's just like, it kind of cloaks over top of it and like, you know, cloak of invisibility and just kick right over top. And it just looked, what was, that was me. I guess I was the YSL just cloaking over top of things. Oh my gosh, really quick pause. There is something that I forgot. It, it was supposed to go at the start of this video. I don't know what I was thinking, but uh, girl, we need to talk about this brow serum. I just happened to see it sitting in my little box of goodies. And this is the Grande Brow Brow Enhancing Serum. And uh, <laughs> my word, okay, if you, if you have not tried this, I, I feel like with, without this product, like my brows, who are they? What are they? They don't exist because this product has grown my brows. It does such a beautiful job. And uh, it's just, uh, there's really not much to say. Like it's a great, very effective brow serum, but I feel like I owe my current like beautiful brow game. Hello. Hi. Um, I feel like I owe it to this brow serum. So highly recommend. All right. So now let's get into some setting sprays because I have four of them and I have a little bit of something for everybody. And I'm actually going to start with the one I've been loving the longest. And that is the ABH Dewy Set Spray. This, <laughs> this is such a beautiful spray. I feel like if you are someone you're wanting that nice hydrated look, not too hydrated, but like that nice, um, glowy look on your skin. This is a hundred percent for you. It just, it, it soaks in, it presses all of your layers together. It's a nice, um, I would say this is definitely a wetter setting spray. And because of that, it just really penetrates the layers of your makeup, presses them together and it leaves you with the most beautiful, like light sheen to your skin. It's definitely not overwhelming, but it's just, oh God, it's so beautiful. I've went through, I want to say two or three of these now. And I swear by them. I think they're so great just for pressing the makeup together. Just, oh, such a good spray. I'll be, I'll be putting you right back right there. I love it. I keep it here. Also along those same lines, I, I just talked about this one and actually I'll just get it out of the way. Okay. Both of these, I just talked about them in my month end favorites, which I will link up here. Um, this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow and then the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Both of these are great. This one is very long lasting. It definitely leaves you with a little bit more of a matte finish. Um, it's not super matte. It's more of like a satin matte, but still really good. It really locks your makeup in. And then this one reminds me a lot of their original. So if you wanted this or a more mattified version of it, you can pick that up while it's on sale too. But uh, their Ultra Glow version for me, it's definitely um, more of like a, a satin glow. It's, it's not overly glowy in my opinion by any stretch. And I feel like you are still able to get that good lock, the, the traditional all-nighter setting spray lock-in with your makeup, but it's a lot softer of a finish. So if you've tried the other and it's too matte for you or it just dries out your skin or, you know, dries out your makeup, I would definitely recommend testing this or, you know, even the one from ABH. And also just, you know, to kind of round out the sprays here, I am going to throw in this one from Hourglass. This is their Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. And I have to throw this in because this spray is actually, like, it remains for me one of the most perplexing sprays I've ever purchased because, you know, a lot of sprays, they'll claim all kinds of shit, okay? They'll be like, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to make your skin look radiant. I'm going to make it super matte. We're going to last 107 hours. Like they, they just, they all claim some shit, right? And I feel like with this one, somehow this spray, when you spray it on, it actually does really put that soft focus like blur over your skin. It's almost like a filter and it blurs, you know, the, your pores, your fine lines. It still presses your makeup in. And, you know, it's definitely not a setting spray like with this one, how I was talking about, you know, it, it penetrates the skin. This one is not like that. It's more so like a surface level effect, but oh, oh is it beautiful? All right, now going into the next section, we're going to talk about highlights because I love, I love highlights so much. And I actually narrowed this down to four options. I know we're both proud of me right now. And uh, we're going to start Start off with the one that I just for whatever reason can't find anywhere it's not in its bin it's nowhere and that would be the milk makeup flex highlighter now this highlight oh honey child if you want to be glowy if you want to be just bright and beaming to the actual stars up above you need this highlight in your life it is so beautiful it comes in three different shades um I, I use the lightest shade because obviously I'm as pasty as a sheet of paper and it is so beautiful the way that it sets it just presses into the skin I did you see that I just gritted my teeth that's how much I love this highlight so highly recommend right now 
going into the, the next item here, we're going to talk about a little Miss Dior because this palette, oh, it is so good. Okay. So th this is the original the one that they came out with like two years ago. It's the Dior Backstage Face and Glow Palette in 01 Universal. But since then, I think it was maybe a month or so ago, they did release um, a couple of new palettes or no, three new palettes. And so, you know, you can pick those shades if, if you're, you know, drawn to one of them or it'll work better for your skin tone. But this one right here is the original. And I feel like this, oh, <laughs> this formula, it is so good. It's so rich and buttery. And for me, I love to mix these first two shades right here. They are so great. I already, I already swatched it because I was playing with it. And the thing about this is that, you know, when you first look at it, you're kind of like, eh, whatever. But the real magic in this Dior formula is how smooth and how beautiful, blinding, it presses into the skin. And it just, it, it feels like the, a hybrid between a finishing powder and a highlight. That's how smooth it is. Now, going into my couple of other options here, I wanted to have two that were powder and two that were not. And so I'm going in with this one because I just talked about it in my favorites video that I already <laughs> mentioned seven times. And this is the Rare Beauty Enlightened Liquid Luminizer. And I'm mentioning this because I feel like this is the highlight for somebody that um, maybe you you really love that natural glow on like a no makeup makeup day, but also on some days you want to be able to build it up. You want to, you know, maybe play around with medium coverage. I feel like this is the highlight for, for that kind of look. And then finally on the cream side of things, I wanted to throw this in here. This is the Hourglass Vanish, what is this? The Vanish Champagne Flash Highlight Stick. And I freaking love this formula. Like in case you can't tell, by the way, throughout this video, I love Hourglass in general. What I love about this is that even though it is, you know, like a, like a thicker feel when you go to swipe it on, it performs like a really nice light veil. So it's something that it's just, it's very adjustable, but you still are able to get that payoff. Like you, you can use it with a lot of other products, but no matter what, you always get this really beautiful, bright payoff with it. Really quick, I do want to touch on a, a powdery situation because I, for some reason, I skipped right over the powder sitting in my bin. And the first thing I want to mention, which for some reason, it's normally sitting right here. I don't know where it went, but I have two different powder recommendations for you. And the first one, um, which again, because I can't find it, I'll do it first, pop a picture on the screen. And that would be the Fenty Pro Filter Powder. And I recommend that to anyone who, like you need a little bit of a set. You need it to just be very fine, very, very lightweight on your skin. I do think that that is an amazing powder. I actually use it a lot under my eyes. And what I find is that it's able to give me, you know, the light set, the light press that I need because I'm oily, but at the same time, it doesn't like overly dry out my skin. And because she offers it in several different shades, you know, you have a lot more wiggle room depending on, you know, if you're wanting for brightening, for setting your face, that sort of stuff, you can just, you can play around with the color a lot more, which is nice. And then also to go along with that, okay, we're just going to talk about the powder. Like you just say it with me. Okay. The powder that I will rave about until the end of time. And that would be the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder, you guys. <laughs> I have went through so many of these and I just, I always tell myself like, Paige, you don't have to have the Hourglass Powder, but I do. Okay. Like I, I, I don't think I can live without it. The thing about it that I think is so beautiful is that this powder is more of a medium weight. Like it's not as fine as the Fenty powder, but when you use it, you can actually like for me anyways, I can visibly see a difference in the way that my makeup sets, the way that it wears throughout the day. And I feel like Hourglass when it comes to powders, I mean, just with this entire sale in general, their powders are so freaking beautiful. Like I might not be on board with, you know, some of their complexion, um, like, like, like their foundation didn't care for that. But this stuff, when it comes, like I said, to powders, pressed powders, oh my God. Oh my God. Um, this is just one of those things that I absolutely live for. I think it's so good and I will recommend it, uh, until the end of time. So highly recommend that. All right. So next up, we're going to talk about blush and I have a lot of choices and I'm not going to spend a lot of time here because these, I talk about a lot and I've talked about them recently, but I really, I just, I feel like they just like deserve that, that honorable mention little hug because they're beautiful. So first up, let's start with the cream option again from Rare Beauty. This is the cream blush in the shade Bliss. And this blush is so beautiful. The thing about these is that you can really work with them. They're very, very user friendly um, in terms of like, even if you accidentally like me apply too much your first go around, you can really work with them. The consistency is great and they just perform. They last really well. And then also along the semi cream um, lines here, we're going to talk about this Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur. I know how many times have we heard 
100 page talk about it a thousand i get it but this formula you guys look at look at that dent okay i love this formula so much this is actually in the shade mauve sunrise and oh it is so good you can use it with a brush you can use it with a sponge you can use it um with set makeup or unset makeup and the thing about these is that they really do have like this this bouncy kind of squishy consistency it works beautiful um with every different type of skin whether you are dry combo oily whatever i have literally never not once okay had an issue with this because the consistency is so spot on and it just always makes your cheeks look so so plump and so happy and hydrated and it's just it's a it's a beautiful formula again it's not a powder it's not a cream it's right in the middle and super duper beautiful and so from here we're gonna start you know tr transitioning over i'm just gonna mention it very briefly of course we have the patrick ta this is his double take cream and powder in she's that girl i love love this i've talked about it a ton i think with this one specifically because you do get a cream and a powder it's even a better deal because you know you kind of get the best of both worlds you can play with both consistencies and they're both beautiful they last really well application is a breeze and just overall his formula whether it's that one <laughs> or segue into this one the monochromatic blush which is actually what i am wearing on my face right now this is in the shade she's passionate and oh honey child <laughs> am i passionate about this damn blush okay it is so great consistency beautiful 10 out of 10 application like it's it's one of those ones where it just lightly smooths out your cheek it's a matte finish and then also just as a, as a side note here we're gonna talk about my other month and favorite that would be the melt cosmetics little duo this one is in buzzkill and i have to throw these out here because this is so beautiful even though it's a shimmery blush it looks amazing on my skin the texture is so fine refined it just presses in and i feel like again even though it's shimmery it doesn't emphasize my texture it just makes my cheeks look so healthy and glowy really quick i'm gonna mention a few bronzers a few bronzers do you hear me uh because i just i love bronzer so much and we're gonna start off with the two that for whatever reason are not in front of me and they are both from fenty so we have the fenty sun stalker instant bronzer and that is the powder version and then we also have the fenty bronzer cheeks out freestyle cream bronzer and these are both beautiful beautiful textures the consistency is amazing um for me the powder bronzer i use that one day in and day out for several months it has such a great texture to it it's very um very much so a bronzer that really warms into your skin and it just it, it kind of presses itself in so even though it's a powder you don't really see the texture like on your surface which is amazing and then for the uh, for the other one the, the cream one the reason that i put this in here is that if you are someone looking for a uh, what i'm going to say is a slightly less opaque bronzer something that you can build you can really work with um i definitely think this is a very easy to use cream bronzer so if you prefer that that would be the option i would recommend and then also to the flip side of that i wanted to mention this one from huda beauty this is her fair tan tour bronzer and i have used this like look at that. i have hit pan a long time ago and this bronzer is one of my absolute favorites i would repurchase this in a heartbeat because for me the tan tour it's definitely more robust than the one from fenty super duper creamy comes in i don't know how many shades i know they both come in a lot fenty is has a great shade range notoriously but uh, i think this one from huda actually comes in i want to say five or six maybe something like that and i have it in the shade fair and i freaking love it so highly recommend that and also just as my, my little side little plug in here that i i have to mention uh because i've been using it every single day right now included and that, that would be the charlotte tilbury this is the airbrush bronzer in the shade medium and i freaking love this okay i, I just i love this bronzer i know some people say like oh it's overpriced it's this it's that and i'm not gonna say that it's you know not expensive because it, it's definitely pricey um and i'm not gonna say you're not even paying for the packaging because you very well may be okay but all i can tell you is that this on my skin like the texture of it the way that it just like like it just it, it so naturally sculpts out my face but it's the kind of natural that i can really like build up if i want it to be a more intense natural if i want it to be less i can just i can really work with this and then just as a little side note with this one you know a little, a little extra fun fact here um this is actually an option i, I recently uh, thought about and i thought my god how brilliant um you can actually th these pans you can buy a replaceable pan and so if you are someone you don't want to put the money into the packaging you don't care about it you can just purchase this replacement pan right here from you know from the the sale and uh, put it in a z palette a magnetic palette something like that and you know then you can still have the product without having to pay for the packaging again if you don't care about the packaging i personally love it um but at the same time some people don't care they put it in a palette anyways and you'd save some coin so just want to throw that out there all right so now let's get into a couple of eyeshadow things we're gonna start off with the one i left 
I left it out there like a twit, but this is the Pat McGrath Mega Mothership Celestial Divinity Eyeshadow Palette, and oh my god, this palette is so beautiful, the textures, the consistency, because it only has a couple of mattes and a ton of shimmers, this is that palette that I reach for when I'm like, okay, really quick, simple, something through the crease, something pretty on the eye, and you're out the door, and the best part about it is that every day you can use the same palette, but just change out that center lid color, just keep changing out that one pop, and you have quite literally a totally different eye look but with one palette and it's so beautiful the shades are great then also another palette something that I have not yet talked about on my channel um, but this you guys this is the Natasha Denona glam palette Oh, this palette, okay, I have used the ever-living bejesus out of this palette and I love it so much now I'm gonna come right out and say I do have her other ones, her Sunset, those palettes are all really nice, but I'm mentioning this one specifically because I feel like I have just, I've reached for it a lot myself personally, and it's like as of recent, and this formula, it is so nice, and the, the way that they perform, like across the board, it's just a very cohesive feeling that I get when I use this palette, because all of the mattes are the same consistency, they're all very buttery, um, all of the, the shimmers are so reflective and beautiful, they all last really well, and just overall for me, it's been a great, great day-to-day, -day. like if you love this more neutral slightly more cool toned palette um i do i do recommend this i think it's beautiful drifting into another little set that i found this is from pat mcgrath and it is the mini flesh um trio and you get uh, i think it's a mini of all three a mini lip liner um a mini gloss and a mini um uh hello lipstick and for 25 dollars, i just think it's a really good way that you could you know test pat mcgrath see if you like it and see if you know you you think it's worth investing in the full size of any of those products now, I can tell you personally, the Pat McGrath lip liners are so beautiful. They're very, very creamy. Um, and I, I just, I personally really do enjoy them. And, you know, same with the lipstick. I, I think, you know, I think for me, though, I would have to say the lip liner out of that trio would be my favorite. They're just very, very creamy and beautiful. And really quick, while we're on the topic of lip liners, just like I said in my favorites video, this is the Patrick Ta lip liner. And I think these are so good. The colors in these, the Patrick Ta lip creams and even the gloss, which hell, the hell, I've got that right here, too. Um, they're just, they're so rich and they're so elegant and so beautiful because I feel like for me the the richness of these and the the way that they all perform they last beautifully and his products they just have such a like amazing refinement to them and it just I wouldn't be doing anyone a service if I didn't you know at least at least throw it out there right now while we're getting into the last couple of you know just little glossy items I want to mention this is from Buxom now this is a repurchase this is in the shade white Russian and this is their full-on lip cream but for me with Buxom whether you are getting their lip cream or their lip polish girl I do not care I do not care. These are so beautiful. The texture is amazing. They last great. They have a ton of colors and I freaking love them. All right. And then just to round everything out, uh, you know, just because I can't help myself, I am going to put up on the screen here. This is the Fenty Beauty Glossy Posse Mini Gloss Balm set. And it is, I think to my understanding, um, all like never before seen sets. Maybe there's a couple of them that are new. I'm not sure. But what I wanted to say about this, obviously this is a set. It is all mini. So they're this big and these glosses, okay, or this gloss set rather, I bought the one that they had last year available and it was such a good, good use of my money because with Fenty, first of all, the formula is amazing. Like the consistency is so beautiful. It's very lightweight, but oh my God, it is so juicy and amazing on your lips. So in terms of how it looks, they just one after the next, man, they always deliver. And what I love about these little sets is that you're actually able to get, you know, multiple shades. I think the set was like 36 bucks. And so you're able to get four shades for $36 and you don't ever have to worry about wasting a full gloss or, you know, always getting through that full one because you know they are minis and for me I'm just one of those people when it comes to lips like I'm totally fine with getting less product for less money because you know I then I can play around and I can use more colors and more textures and just I, I don't know play around with it a lot and when it comes to Fenty oh honey I will play around all day because I love their glosses I just I actually just wore one yesterday they're just oh, they're so good so juicy so amazing all right you guys with that we are officially done with the video I don't know what we're flying away I guess uh, because this video has been very long so just gonna sign off really quick couple of things number Number one, a huge thank you to you guys again for supporting me, for shopping through my links, and for um, doing all of this. I will, of course, have everything linked down below that I talked about, and uh, I'll also make sure in the community tab when the sale starts that I have a link there, just as a general Sephora link. If you're wanting to shop through that, I'll make sure it is available to you. I just want to say thank you again for for that and for you know being so supportive, for being so sweet. It is absolutely amazing, and I hope that this video was at least helpful to you. I hope that it was um, a, somewhat of a guide for what I think and and just for the the things 
things that I value and products what I think would be a good deal. And of course, I want to hear from you guys all down below in the comments. What do you think? What are some things you're shopping? What are some things that um, maybe you restock on when it when it comes sale time? I just I want to hear all of your thoughts and opinions down below. And of course, also, like I said at the start, you can subscribe, turn on your post notifications, follow me on Instagram. And I think that that is everything. Dear God, it's enough. We've been here forever. So please don't forget all of you to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. It is so sweaty in here. I am so sweaty, so, so sweaty, so sweaty, so, so, so sweaty, sweaty. I am dying, dripping sweat from my face, but I still have volume <laughs> because Dyson. Look at all of that. Like normally when I sweat, bitch, my hair just like sticks to my face. Like I look like a literally drenched little kitty cat. And look, look, look at this. Even though I'm sweaty, girl, and I'm a sweaty little mess. I still have all of this volume. Ooh, volume. Hello. Okay, Paige, stop it right now. You're so tired. You need to just stop. You, you, but I've been in front of these lights a little too long, and by a little, I mean seven hours, okay? It's, it's, it's time. It's time to say goodbye.